Hey everybody, it's Nate with Sauce Ain't the Boss here again, and today is day 118 of quitting alcohol. Today I was giving a lot of thought about when I first started quitting alcohol at the beginning of this 118 days ago. Um, I just knew I had to quit drinking. I didn't give too much thought as to what was going to happen in my life after I quit drinking. It was more just that one track mind of I have to quit drinking. And my reasons for that was I realized how selfish I was being by drinking um, to the people around me and also that my health was going bad. Um, and there were quite a few other reasons um, that I've mentioned in some of the other videos of why I wanted to quit drinking, but I didn't give a lot of thought about then what? What's going to happen in my life? Um, and now 118 days in, I just want to tell you guys that um, alcohol was my ball and chain, and it might be your ball and chain too. The thing that's holding you back from so many other things in your life starting to flourish and uh, be amazing and wonderful. Um, and I didn't know that or even think about that. Um, and so I just want to tell you guys, uh, it's not just quitting alcohol. It's not just stopping drinking. It's um, creating and uncovering the beautiful, amazing life that awaits you on the other side of alcohol that you have no idea exists because you're trapped in a bottle in that alcohol prison, wanting to get out of it, the vicious cycle, the washing machine tumbling over and over again. You know, that's how I felt, just like a, a dish towel and a washer, just same thing day in and day out, getting more and more beat up, you know, by the alcohol and um, living the same life, doing the same boring thing over and over and over again. And um, I didn't know or even think there was another side to the quitting alcohol. I thought, well, I'll still have the same life after I quit alcohol. I just won't have the alcohol in it. And um, that was kind of a, a limited way of thinking back then, but I only realize it now because I've gotten far enough away from the alcohol and things have gotten so much better in my life that I can see that now. So that's just what I wanted to really share with you guys if you're thinking about quitting alcohol or you're still in the very early stages of it. Um, is that it's not just quitting alcohol, it's, um, it's, it's improving the relationships in your life, it's, it's getting a better life, it's watching your finances start to grow. Um, you know, if I told you, hey, if you quit alcohol, you're gonna have more money, you're gonna look better, you're gonna feel better, uh, your relationships with um, your family and friends is gonna improve. Um, you know, you're going to sleep better. Um, just, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And all you have to do is give up this one thing, alcohol, for everything else in your life. Would that be worth doing? Um, and that's a tough question you have to ask yourself. I didn't even think that far into it. Like I say, it was more just the uh, mindset of I got to quit drinking. I'm just going to have to do this. And, uh, you know, I don't really kind of want to do it in the sense that I know it's going to be somewhat challenging, but I have to and need to do it. And I think that's kind of what sparks a lot of us in the beginning is just the, uh, the place in our lives that we know we just have to stop because um, if we don't, things are just going to keep getting worse and worse in our lives from our health to our relationships to, um, you know, eventually maybe winding up dead. I mean, you know, um, that's kind of the cold hard truth about excessive drinking for decades um, is that uh, we all kind of know that potential exists and uh, maybe that's starting to creep up on you. You know, it was for me. And so um, that's how it kind of starts. But then, you know, um, again, it was just such a, um, I didn't have really a, a clue as to what l lied beyond the alcohol. Um, I had known it and, and used that drug for so long in my life that I didn't know what life would even be without it. And um, maybe some of you guys are in that boat too where you just go, you know, quote, life ain't living without alcohol. Um, I remember saying to, that to myself a few times um, over the past uh, decade or so. And again, what a shallow, um, you know, way of thinking, knowing um, what I know now. Um, so 
that's just what I wanted to share with you guys today is that alcohol could very well be that ball and chain and you have no idea the amazing things um, awaiting you uh, in the life that you could live on the other side of alcohol if you can get past it. And um, I'm here to tell you guys that it's worth, worth the temporary discomfort and the challenges in the beginning that present itself um, when you're quitting alcohol because, um, you know, there's just so, so many better things on the other side of it. So um, that's it for today, guys. Um, I hope you're getting any, something out of these videos. If you are, give them a like. Subscribe to the channel if you can. And most importantly, remember, sauce ain't the boss. You are. You guys have a great day.